right, this is the Dielectric Media Show. For some reason, Baldwin called this meeting. I'm Frank Allen. I'm Doug Slobotnik. I'm Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you want to talk about again? Yeah, well, we just wanted to state for the record today that we are not excited about this. And uh, Well, the great part is, is I'm going to make you excited, bitch. <laughs> I am KY. I'm going to intensify oh, the situation. Oh, God. So, is it is it his and hers? Baby, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like the vibrator that blows your hair back. I got three for some reason, because I've always wanted to be like what it'd be like to have one in the ass, one in the vagina, and one in the mouth at the same time, all vibrating. Would your head fucking explode if you had three vibrators in you at once? I'm pretty so, sure it would not. <laughs> I don't want to take that uh, experience. What's a bio? <laughs> what? <laughs> what a- I'm, Ca- I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite band on the Citadel. So what did you <laughs> want to talk about? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the Commander <laughs> Shepard came into. So <coughs> today I huh? happened, I, I actually watched TV for the first time in a few months. And That's that wasn't basketed ball. <laughs> so <laughs> basketed yes, ball? Basketed ball when I bounce the ball around the court. And, and the not just basketball. Team. You were watching women's basketball. Dude, that's no, I wasn't just. Wa- I'm not talking about women's basketball. My talking? roommate is a hardcore fucking basketball fan. I'll, I'll get so into that later on. what you just told me is your roommate likes to take dick in the butt. No, but he is a track runner, and he goes to bed at 9 o'clock where I tuck him him every night with a warm glass of milk, and I look under his bed for boogeyman, so. You don't have to do that. Yes, but he tells me to, so. I think it's somewhere in the roommate uh, agreement Guideline. contract there. Yeah. So, <laughs> today. Gotta read the really <coughs> fine print. Today I watched <laughs> a little bit of TV, and they just happened upon a commercial, and it was for the Magic Mesh. If you do not know what the Magic Mesh oh is. Oh, my God, yeah. It is, it is pretty cool. I will admit, it is a fucking awesome device. It's, you know, it's super strong magnets that close up, and it's, it's, it's just a little easy mesh to keep all the bugs out. But my problem is, and it's not fucking just with this commercial. It's astonishing. They, they take, and I've, I did this at your house once. When, yeah. when they had the, uh, the seat cushion, uh-huh. the whatever the fuck that is. The, you take normal the, the things. The sumo wrestlers sitting on the. It's the the what is it like the couch saver or so the cushion saver. The cushion saver, the ass bouncer. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, which makes a saggy couch turn into a firm supporting couch. Yeah, like a you know instead of a firm supporting husband, you know you can just have a firm supporting hou- couch. So that anyways. sumo wrestlers can sit on. Yeah, cause just, just in the, case. Y- y- I always have sumo wrestlers in my house every bye weekend. So. Uh-huh. Anyways, it's <laughs> it's astonishing what you can take. It, it's an, it's a fascinating product, and it can just be like, hey, you know, if if you don't like your if you don't like this or if you don't like that, you know, for your screen door, then buy the Magic Mesh. They could just be simple. Provide the product with a simple underlying statement that you need this because it's better. But instead of that, they take that and then just beat it with a hammer until it's retarded. Have you ever dead. had troubles walking through a screen door? Do doors frighten and scare you? Do the simple objects of handles confuse and frighten you? Do your children stare at doors wondering how they work? Does grandma forget how to walk and then slowly slide into the door gasping for breath? Has your dog ever killed itself going out of the doggy door? Did you get a divorce last year because you couldn't figure out how to open the mesh screen door? Your son's gay? Did well, you know your daughter has the clap? Then we've get got the, magic the product mesh. for you. The magic mesh. The magic mesh can solve all your problems. Look at this dish. This dish is dirty. So instead of <laughs> cleaning it, just throw it through the magic mesh. And it'll be outside on your porch where you'll never go because you forget how to open screen doors. And it's now, magic mesh with sleeves <laughs> that you can wear. <laughs> magic mesh with so sleeves. So your hands don't get cold when changing <laughs> the channel. Yeah. Magic mesh for your dog. Look how cute this little rover is. It's astonishing. I mean, it really They've is. They've even got it for the fish <laughs> and the cat. <laughs> and the little baby, because the baby has to have it. And the pages are blank. So Yeah, the pages are always blank. But this is the thing. They do really start off the commercial with that. <laughs> they have people. Pardon they me. have one kid who just fucking flat up walks into the screen door. A, uh, there's screen. You can see it. And he just fucking. Burp, 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 like, he, you've, we've seen the commercials where the bird will fly into the door door because it can't see through the glass that's glass it's see-through if it's clean you can really see through it (laughs) this is wire wire interlaced into very fine woven fucking texture that it's impossible to walk into unless you are oblivious i've never never seen someone walk through a screen door i did it to be an asshole once that was it (laughs) like it's 
astonishing. And it's just, you know, they had the kid walking in the mesh. They had a dog, you know, scratching at the mesh and causing holes. That I understand. Yeah, that, that one's happen, obvious. Yeah. But then they had Grandma, for some reason, carrying three items while everybody's out on the porch laughing. So apparently they're laughing at the fact that Grandma is trying to get through a screen door. And she can't reach the handle because, for some reason, she didn't think to leave the screen door open while she had the three items in her hand. It was like a big bowl and something else. I don't know what gun. I don't really give a shit what Grandma was holding. But, it, it, you know, Grandma was, like, trying to suffer open the door. It's like, has this ever happened to you? It's like, why the fuck is Grandma carrying three uh, precarious <laughs> items? I don't why know. is Grandma taking the TV outside? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, everybody's on the porch. You can see him just sitting around a bonfire just laughing. It's like, what, are they laughing at their grandmother? That's Well, it's funny, but it's horrible at the same time. Yeah. But it, it, like, oh, 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 Granny. <laughs> it isn't just products like that. And I know if you guys have ever watched YouTube, there's Jack's films. I've showed you. I Boy, think I've no. showed you. I don't know if you... What's YouTube? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is Tube of you? So, you know, th- he makes fun of the, the Snuggy and the Forever Pants, but he also makes fun of... Uh, he does the iPhone 3, and he does different parodies. And, but, you know, it's obviously not just him, but he, do- I, in my personal opinion, of all the ones I've watched, he does the best depiction. Because even as the sham wow, and it's he's making fun of like how sponges kill 13 people a year. <laughs> you know, because in all honesty, if you've ever sat up and watched a motherfucking infomercial, it is that. It is just like the base of humanity has yeah, just I, become I, a I think I saw one pile. for like a uh, an easy egg opener thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like, have you ever had troubles opening an egg? And there's this lady here just like beating an egg on a book and doesn't know how to open it. <laughs> well, she might as well just be like gnawing on it with two <laughs> of like, her teeth. Hits it on the pan, nukes go off outside of her house. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, and uh, you know, back in the day when it was like the magic bullet and shit, <coughs> it wasn't like, you know, they had stupid pictures of people slicing off their fingers and yeah. shit. But it was like people like, oh, my God, I'm frantic and I have 30 minutes to eat, but I'm too stupid to open a fucking can of soup. <laughs> so, you know, the magic bullet, they had a piss poor. I, piss I still poor like the, uh, the, the what are they called? Genji knives. The Genji knives? Yeah. yeah. It's like, have you ever wanted to open a fucking can of tomato paste with From a, a knife? mile away? <laughs> 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 hey, I was just like watching that going, when has anybody tried to open a can with a knife? If you're fucking Chuck Norris, maybe. He wouldn't have to. He just, like, fucking looks at it, and it's like, gone, and it's cooked already. Plus, I would never use a knife to open a can that my hand is personally holding because one wrong step Well, and, and they no didn't even open it, it the there? way that you'd open a can. They just cut the fucking top off. Like, like oh, they, yeah, just, yeah. they just cut through the middle of the can. Yeah, well, they're trying to show how sharp the knife oh, is. Oh, yeah, ooh, whatever. And then they well, cut a tomato right after that. They're like, yeah. it's still sharp. It didn't dull at all. It's like the blender that can sh- fucking ground oh, up will granite. It blend? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, when, when am, am I going to have a rock smoothie today? I'm feeling I'm feeling like... When I said on the rock, smoothie. I didn't mean on well, the rock. <laughs> it's, it's fucking amazing. They take... It, but that's the thing. To sell a product does not mean you have to dumb down the human society. But that's what they do for this. It's it's taking such simple ideas, like the couch thing. You remember when I was sitting on your couch, and I did that. I was like, have you forgotten how to sit down? <laughs> do the simple ideas of sitting in a couch seem frustrating, confusing to you? You know, that's how every fucking one of those infomercials is nowadays. And... And they they're getting they're just getting more and more retarded. And I, I know answer. I shouldn't use the word retarded, but the, it, no, it's in just this situation, it is perfectly okay. Yeah, it, well, it's the end of society. This is infomercials, honestly. And I don't know, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> A little curious. Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean that's the thing. <laughs> it was just. Are you moving away from the mic to breathe? Yeah. Chocolate sort of rain. rain. Hey, there's a hundred percent chance of chocolate rain. <laughs> so. Chocolate rain. Oh yeah, with some Kool Aid. Rain. So, I mean that's the whole thing. Is after after watching all these stupid infomercials and 
it, it, it just never su- it ceases to amaze me what the next infomercial will be. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was like, have you forgotten how to open a door? And they just run into it fucking head on, <laughs> just take down the door, you know? Or a baby just is, like, trapped in a closet and the baby's trying to open the door handle. No, the, they'll be, like, uh, fucking role-playing game style, like, just walking into the door, backing up, walking into the door, backing up, and then walking into it again. Ooh. And then, like, just doing the awkward turning thing and then hitting it again. <laughs> See, I like the sliding glass doors for that and birds flying into it. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Oh, I More love doors need to be made completely out of totally More doors. doors. More, More doors <laughs> everywhere with magic meshes. More doors. <laughs> More doors. That'll be the next product. More doors. <laughs> Do you need it. to walk into a Morador? <laughs> you don't just simply walk, walk into to Morador. Morador. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we just went geek. Omatic 9000 on your asses. You just so, have to jet ski across the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, thank you, Google say. Maps. <clears throat> to move on. I can't wait for the 8-bit NES version of Google Maps to come I, out. I saw that, yeah. actually. Andy had a picture. Yeah, did you see the uh, the fucking cartridge had a phone jack on it? And I was like, if if fucking internet would have been big back then, that is exactly what it would have been. Well, You'd yeah. have to plug it into the phone jack. But so to move on from that, and no, really no good transition. The other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, <laughs> there was a story on Yahoo News uh, oh, over the past a few days surprise. ago. Surprise! Well, this is well, this one will really piss you off. So. This I is what it. happened. I, I am so mad. Trust me. It. When you hear it, you'll think back to the woman. Uh, oh God, I'm to, pissed already. To set up, to set up this premise, I don't know. Have you guys seen the South Park where Butter's have I mom? I've seen the South Park <laughs> where Butter's mom. She goes crazy because Butter's discovers that it's his dad Butters, that's is homosexual. Me. Yeah. And he goes to the well, and then she takes Butter's and tries Must to drown paint. him in the river. Must <laughs> clean. Exactly. Well, you Butter's know, they based that dirty. off of the real life mom who tried to drown her kids in the river, and one of them uh, ended up living. And yeah, 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 yeah. And he like is traumatized for life because he tried to save his younger brother but couldn't, and they all died, and he's alive. Yeah. Well, so there's a new there's a new one out there. Oh, and, fantastic! But the great news is it's starting out like every other story. What did God tell her to do it this time? No, actually, not even that. They're, the parents are saying that it's not their fault. So, oh, <coughs> so they're just totally blaming it on what nothing. happened. So this is well, this is what happened. So a mom was doing some laundry and she was big surprise sorting <laughs> like she should. Like okay. she should, of course. She better be making sandwiches while she's doing it. Uh, no, she was actually she her 18 month old baby was sitting in a pile of clothes, just having some fun. Just oh, no. Messing with clothes. Hold on. No. Hold on. No, it's not actually not not the way you think it would be. <laughs> So, oh, they play hide and go seek, and he <laughs> hides in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> no, the drive. My burrito is really weird. It's got a diaper on it. Hey, this turkey seems <laughs> a little. It's screaming. <laughs> so, anyways, so the mom <laughs> is sorting laundry, and she's putting stuff in the washer, and the washer's going, and it's an upright washer, you know, lit on top. Okay, and the all right. Loading yeah. right there, and she, according to her story. She left the room for some inauspicuous reason. Fucking nobody knows, apparently. She went to go jerk off in the bathroom. Anyways, she leaves the room with her 18-month-year-old baby. First of all, why the fuck do they call it 18-month? Why can't we just call it year, year old? And six. See? Yeah. Okay. That's that's my concern with because this. Because so I, 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 I hate that crap. I'm just like, it's, it's, it's a fucking one-year-old. I don't want to do math. Just tell me. I am a 370 month year old baby, so <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, so the the mother I'm leaves a, the yeah, room. I'm a 97th trimester abortion. <laughs> you mean a failed abortion because you're alive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the mom leaves the room. The baby's still sitting in the pile of clothes, and somehow, fucking nobody knows how, but she left the lid open on the washer, and, and the washer was going. And the washer was going. Which is impossible. because No, most it of is. No, there are some washers out there. That All right, yeah, they can't do, like, spin cycles. Yeah, but right? they just fill up in the tub. Yeah. And she left the room. And Wait, the 18 wait was the baby on the floor? Yeah, baby was on the floor. This is where it gets to that point. So the baby's sitting on the floor ah, and somehow gets in his mind, I want to go for a swim. So it stands up an 18-month-year-old baby, which apparently is like six foot five. 
<laughs> so, because there's no, and I, I'm just going to say this, there's no fucking way this could have happened. But the baby somehow managed to stand up, climb in, up Was on the Was this baby by chance Indiana Jones's baby? No. Oh. That would have been awesome. Then I don't know how it's possible. Exactly. This is, and it's not a short washer, it's just a regular, I mean, most upright washers with the lid on top are pretty tall. Yeah, I couldn't like, imagine a one-year-old child being able to crawl in, oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's the thing. So this 18-month-year-old gets up <laughs> 18 on the washer year old. and somehow, yes. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. Hey, I'm combining the wrong. one and the 18. Yeah, I so. gotcha. Anyways, it gets up on the washer and it falls in and drowns to death. Go figure. Well, here's the thing that the mother comes back into the room and sees that the baby isn't there and she's like, well, where'd the baby crawl off to? And then she sees the baby in the washer, pulls it out, tries to resuscitate it. The baby ended up dying. And it's it's a horrible story. Yeah. And and now, so the parents aren't getting charged for jack shit. Nothing is happening to them. They are actually now trying to advise parents that they should never leave their babies alone. Okay, so never leave your babies alone. Ever. Which we already knew. And uh, don't wear hoodies. <laughs> uh, except so. for this wasn't an 18-year-old black kid. This was no. an 18-month-old baby. 18-month-old. White year baby. Old. 18 month year old. <laughs> so, but this, so I'm going to take this a piece by piece apart for you. So, first off, the mother is doing laundry with a baby, and the baby somehow, somehow climbs into a washer. Now, when we were kids, we were dumbasses. We drew on walls and we threw up all over the place and we right? constantly shit ourselves. Yes. An Constantly. 18-month-old baby, <laughs> you know, a year and a few months, y- you have to kind of wonder, no baby's this fucking smart. No, we, I just, uh, and or strong enough to get no, up there. No, it's I don't, not possible. Unless they had a fucking, like, Ladder? staircase or a, a fucking hoist pulley system that it could operate. Once again, 18-month-old <laughs> baby. <laughs> to get it's it up not going to have a pulley system. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's just so what, stupid. What How the fuck? What if it was Tommy Pickles? Oh, no. Tommy Pickles would have fucking found a way out of the washer or pretended it was a submarine because Tommy Pickles was awesome. But Rug once rats, again, best show ever. <laughs> Tommy Pickles is not also had parents that watched him and his dad was uh, Dave Duchovny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, if your father is him, you win. Yeah. So, well, yeah, he's a badass. But yeah. But having famous fathers isn't always good. Yeah, but he made chocolate at 4 a.m. in the morning for pickle for uh, uh, Angelica. Yeah, that right. Was a funny but like, episode. just say you're Eric Clapton's kid. Yeah, well, that's not good. Uh, then you, you can, fall out of a hotel window. You could be Martin Gay. Marvin Gay. Marvin Gay. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, and then your father shoots you. <laughs> exactly, Daddy. I love you. <laughs> so I love you too, son. <laughs> With shotguns. <laughs> so. But here's the thing. So the parents are not getting charged with anything. They are not getting charged. No negligence. No negligence. They're not. The mother's not getting charged with anything. No criminal dumbassery. Well, and uh, uh, they're probably going to breed again. Oh, yeah. Which is even worse. And I actually, I was talking to my mom about this story today, and she had read it. And she says that this is probably what happened. Baby was sitting on floor crying. And the mother was telling the baby to shut up. And it was probably, I saw a picture of this couple and, you know, they looked like a regular, normal white couple. But, you know, the dad, there was a video of the mom talking. The dad was just standing there during this entire, uh, entire story. He was just, you know, whatever. Yep, my son's dead. Yep, I don't care. And the mom (laughs) is doing the mom job. She's crying, obviously, to sell the point. But my mom says that, the baby was probably sitting there crying its ass off, and the woman was trying to shut the baby up, so she shoved it in the washer to to get it to shut up, because women have done crazy shit with their children. Yeah, Oven, no dryer, uh, fucking one teen mom buried her baby in the backyard. Yeah. So, putting a child in a washer okay. is just the next step of stupidity. Clearly. Well, Clearly, here's the, the thing that I don't get. Thing These parents, do. I guarantee you, in the next... 
I don't know, month, two months, three months, unless this whole case blows over and just becomes nothing. But I guarantee you it won't. Like like the uh, the mother that tried to kill her sons in the river, this same case will hop up where it was, you know, the mother was trying to get rid of the child and the husband just kind of acted as a cohort in a sense that he didn't want to say anything. And it's just, it's a, it's a great story of how bad parenting truly has become. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, in, in the past decade Is it and a possible half, to walk through a supermarket without seeing a child who is clearly a victim of terrible parenting? Well, I mean, I, I still, I have this very strong belief that one out of maybe a million or a billion kids, there is a born jackass. Just, <laughs> yeah. if he had God as a parent, he would still be sane. It's just one of those things. And but yeah, I I you know I worked at Hy-Vee for so long, I, I so many fucking parents just come in with their kids just screaming. There was True. a dad that came in once. He came through the express lane. He had a cart filled with sugary snacks and you know about <laughs> noon shit. And the kids are climbing. Go go juice. <laughs> happy fun time. Super happy fun time. Angry go go juice. So. And the kids were climbing all over the cart, just being little jackasses and just doing shit. And the dad's like, well, they must be full of energy. And I look in the cart, and it's like donuts, cream-filled, sugar-filled, diabetes-filled, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew, death. (laughs) And just, here's a missing leg. And it's one of those situations where you just, I, I, I walked over to my manager after I got done with that guy. And I go... You know, it's not a fucking wonder his kids are so crazy because he's feeding them sugar, just like injecting it up their ass. And there you just go. All right. Today we're going to have 7,000 celery sticks and uh, some carrots, maybe a couple of, oh, what else? What else could we have? Apples, maybe? No, that's got too much sugar. Uh, yeah, I was going to say cabbage. a banana. We'll go with cabbage. A banana has like little sugar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good potassium. I had a banana today. <laughs> cool story. I'm talking into a banana. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't I, know what's underneath this cloth. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> my name's Hugh. Banana. Remember what? that from the first you're, podcast? Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? My name's Hugh Banana? Yeah. Well, uh... Oh, huge banana. We started the... <laughs> 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 I didn't mean that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, continue, continue. We before we started the first podcast, we were just kind of letting it settle, so then we could do the intro. And Hugh goes, "Banana." Yeah, and then we started <laughs> laughing again, and we had to wait another five minutes. Yeah, I mean, so <laughs> hard to work with these idiots. Yeah, no, we're just a gaggle of monkeys. You, you have to round up. So this is a true statement. <laughs> I mean, but you know, what time are we going to uh, uh, Skytron's house today? Whenever apartment. I don't know, we're talking about this on the podcast. No, we need to. Listeners don't give a rat's what, what? ass. Are, are we actually going to do this today? I, I'm kind of bummed he didn't want to come here. Yeah, you know, he, I just got to contact him. Whatever. It's all so. right. But we could have just brought this shit over there. It's fucking portable. Well, he didn't want to do the podcast. Yep. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Tickety tisk. No, but, you know. Just Next time he won't have a choice. There is no option but hell. So hail, um, yeah. That's the big thing. Is it's just America is on a slippery slope of retardation, and with with uh, all the shit. Actually, going- I would have to uh, cast my vote in the. It has already fallen down the slope and no. is just crumbling at the bottom of a retard fucking casserole. <laughs> Facebook. Well, that, that's yeah. Facebook, uh, Facebook. Right there. Yeah. We'll just. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. You can go fuck yourself. Well, Twitter is no... I mean, Twitter is just statuses. Yeah. It's, oh, I'm just saying that every social yeah. media is fucking stupid. I, I like Facebook because it helps me actually keep in touch with people I can't talk to over the phone or text them. And it's just a great way to I share disagree. funny jokes. I disagree. That's the only thing I use it for. You can fucking text those people. Well, I know, but I'm saying if you would like to gather events, get people together, it's a great thing for that. But the people who use it nowadays, besides mopey teenagers and mopey adults, it, you know, I use it sparingly. And when I become a teacher, I'm not going to use it at all. I'm just going to delete mine because of Probably fuck job security. 
But yeah, they don't want to find out who you actually are. <laughs> yeah. Well, not like I have anything. Date. I have a shit ton of team motivational posters. That's it. Yeah, and no. a picture of me with the pickle girl look on my face, wearing a pink hat. Yeah. Well, yeah. You just the, the having having a reputable job and a Facebook are pretty much mutually exclusive. Exactly. And oh my god, had know. fun last night with the guys getting raped and stoned. <laughs> raped yeah, and bro. Stoned. Yeah. Well, no, that was the black guys talking outside of my door the oh, other night. Oh, we don't need to go back onto that. <laughs> yeah, no. No, but, you know, like it, a little right bigotry now... bigotry to start the day. I actually, I looked at Pickles Chick uh, Facebook page, because whenever I want to laugh, I just look at her statuses. And she, in in a day, I comparably day to day, she probably has somewhere between six and seven statuses. Six and seven. Yeah. Uh, does she have a Twitter also, which she updates, like, by the second... I wouldn't know. I honestly wouldn't because I, I imagine with as many times she updates. Like, most of her statuses, I kid you not. Like, today, I, I wrote a status that said, got a new computer cable. It works. Hooray. That was my big status because I know there was a couple of people, like you guys I told about my faulted computer cable. You know, it was just, it wasn't a big announcement, but I made it a status because that's what was on my mind. And that's really what it is. It's what's on your mind and what you want to share. But with her, right, it's like. But, but here's this: had I had I seen that on Facebook, if I had one, I wouldn't have given a fuck. You exactly. tell me that in person. Ah, uh, okay, sure. Yeah. But you know why I had to get a new one, and you know how bad that other one was, and how if you had a soul around that cable, you weren't allowed to charge that computer. Which is crazy because I think it would have worked all the time for you then. Mm, I know. <laughs> That's why it did charge with me. Oh, so, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so when that's right, else kids. Is in the room, I'm going to hell. So, going to hell, <laughs> going to hell. I have Not a golden ticket. Dun, 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 dun. You make sandwiches for a living. You're in hell. Oh, yeah, but I love sandwiches. Yeah, but you don't love the people you make them for. Eh, it varies. Not a lot. It's all assholes and like two good people. Well, the two good people are worth it. <laughs> no, they're not. Not at all. <laughs> No, I know. I would just like to say, fuck everyone who buys sandwiches. Fuck them all. Except for that one chick with big tits. We love you. Well, all and yes, you know who we're talking tits. about. No, no. The, see, no. You got to exclude fat chicks. Because fat chicks. Well, that's chicks different. That's not. That's that's just gnarly tits. Yeah, like uh, we we have this one chick up at Wayne. We call it Chewbacca tits. And the reason oh, God. Yeah, you told me about her. That's fucking gross. Yeah, I, I don't know. Have chick. I told you about her, Frank? No. I okay. just thought of, oh, you could mistake her for a big, hairy truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, actually, no. Hagar. She, uh, she is quite a hairy person. She's very round because she's short, and when she's short people get like fat, they ball. get round. Yeah. And she's very, she treats everyone like kids. Whenever she talks, it's, okay, come on, ha. I, I'm like Richard Simmons and Paula Deen, come on. And... <laughs> And but she she thinks she has a nice cleavage, and she thinks she has tits. But the only reason she has tits is because she weighs a lot. And but she always wears low so cut what, like shirts, four foot, no matter which way you place her on the ground. Pretty much, yeah, you know, <laughs> one of those chicks on the feet, on the side, on the head, all four on foot on the arm. Yeah, but so but she always wears low cut shirts like this. And she actually has a hairier chest than mine. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> if you can imagine a chick with a hairier chest than me trying to show off cleavage, that's why we call her Chewbacca tits. <laughs> Every time. That's it's scary. Appalling yeah. and slightly and terrifying. We actually found out she has a tattoo on the back side of her ass. Like a tramp stamp. Not on the front of her ass? Yeah. Shut up. I don't <laughs> <laughs> but no, she has a tramp stamp, but apparently it's covered by a uh, thick forest. <laughs> so Of herpes and hair? No, just hair. The herpes, I don't think a man would ever fuck that. So, but uh, Enter your sister. Yeah, well, my sister used to actually be somewhat good looking. Used to. Many years. Many moons ago when the rivers were high. <laughs> so... And the ground was fertile and gave forth to many a corn. Many a corn? Many a corn. Many a corn. So, I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> that is the thing. That is the thing. That, that thing over the there on the auspicious thing. occasion. <laughs> I don't even know what auspicious means. Uh, I, think I don't think you know what auspicious means either. Auspicious? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
just trying to think. <laughs> now you're making me think again. I know what it means. Oh, but... no. I'm provoking thought. I'm sorry. Uh, what is the thought? So, <laughs> the word. What is the word? A bird, bird, bird. A bird, bird, bird. No, no. The bird is a word. The bird is a word. bird. So. Wipe out. Before we get on Frank's, you know, nerves about the bird, because it is a word. I hate that song. We all do. Do you hate it or do you love it so much that you can't stand it? <laughs> I hate it. A well, a well, a well, a bird. It's bird, like bird. Friday. Everybody Birds hates it, but in Rebecca Black's imaginary. Friday. In Friday. In Rebecca Black's imagination land, she thinks that everybody who hates her actually loves her. Because truly, to be on that level. If of I self- was insane, I would probably do the same thing. I'm insane, but I'm not stupid. So that's where, I mean, Rebecca Black had a black manager and parents who. For some what reason. What does the manager being black have to do with anything? Well, because he raps in the Friday video. I showed you the parody one. You know, where he raps about bologna and chicken. Yeah, I remember that. But, <laughs> you okay there, Frank? Yeah, I'm good. I don't okay. think he's okay. I was going to say, you were kind of staring at them lights like they were going to attack you. I'm tired. Yeah, we all Leave are. me alone. You're ti- It's fucking what? Like six? Seven. Seven? Yeah. Like seven, ten. We need to go eat. Someone, someone, yeah. get me something to eat. Feast. Hungry. Well, just watch out. I was watching the Weather Channel, and they predict a hundred percent chance of thunder. God damn it! <laughs> I actually, I never got a message back from Thunderschlag after I sent him a hundred percent chance of douchebag. So there's probably a message just sitting there for you. We need to. No, play actually, that again. I looked before I left. I want to play more of that. What? Halo? Yeah, three. Right now, let's go. All right. I'm going to say, yeah, we can stop off at my house. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. 42-inch yeah, flat screen, high-definition TV. No, it wouldn't be 42 inches. It'd be fucking one-third of that. I'm saying the TV is 42 inches. Yeah, but we wouldn't get that. We'd get one-third of it. And? We all have Xboxes or or and homes. Well, I know, but TVs. I thought we were going I to like that idea. Skytrons. What? I like that idea. Everyone goes home and plays Halo with each other. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's all leave and then get together online. <laughs> Perfect. I'm game. To I'm the hungry. internet. I want to go home and eat <laughs> and <laughs> relax. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we should end this podcast. Should we? Before we start rambling on more about crazy stuff. This hasn't adventures. been rambling to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we could have maybe cut it off about a half hour ago, but hey. I think it started a half hour ago, didn't it? No, it's a little over. All right. Well, this has uh, been a Dielectric Media production. I am Doug Slobotnik. And I'm Frank Allen. That I'm the guest production artist, also known as Baldwin. No, he's just Baldwin. He's not the guest in anything. He's just... Baldwin. I am a guest! <laughs> nope, you're not. You're <laughs> just, bullshit. just Baldwin. He's some guy we found on the street. They paid me in quarters. No, no, he paid us to get on here. Yeah. So I much. sleep on a broken Heineken bottle. <laughs> on a broken Heineken <laughs> bottle? <laughs> a broken... I use a rock that is shaped like Jesus Christ's ass cheek. You can actually tell because it has a holy mark on it. Oh, really? Yeah. A I'm going holy to mark there. on the ass? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All oh, right. Well, knows. we're out, folks. See you next time. See ya. Don't have too much fun. <laughs>